Mexico's high country may not be enough for one rare species, the bighorn sheep. That number has dwindled from more than 300 to just about 60. And the roundup to save the remaining few has just begun. Roger Karras has more. This is what normally goes on at White Sands, New Mexico, home of America's primary missile test range. But the high Sonoran Desert is also home for the rare and elusive desert bighorn sheep. The sheep here are in trouble, diseased and dying. If they are not treated immediately, the herd will not survive. So the New Mexico Department of Fish and Game, with the help of a federal grant, brought in animal capture experts from New Zealand. Using a helicopter, Tim Wallace and Colin Yates searched perilously close to Black Mountain, hoping to catch 40 of 60 animals believed to be in the herd. But first, the animals have to be stopped. Yates immobilizes and tracks the animals by firing tranquilizer darts equipped with radio transmitters. He uses nets fired from a launching gun to hold the sheep until the pickup helicopter arrives. The airlift underway. The unconscious animals are transported south from the slopes of the mountain the base camp where the game experts and veterinarians wait. But many of the sheep are so ill when captured that they cannot tolerate the shock of being handled. Every one of these sheep has to be handled as if it may die at any moment because it is not a healthy animal. And so we've gone to what is an extraordinary number of precautions to try to prevent these kinds of mortalities. The sheep are weighed. Okay, we've got 170, let him make it. Blood samples are taken, and samples of the spite that are the root of the problem are scraped away. Finally, the animals are dipped in a powerful chemical bath that kills the mite. Captivity is a struggle for some, at least at first. But if these animals have been left in the wild, nature would have taken her course. And in this case, her course was death. Roger Karras, ABC News, on the White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico.